Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video, let's take a look at this Nvidia stock going like a bullet train speed guys. This is just unstoppable. This bullet train is unstoppable of Nvidia. Wow. The massive moves that we have been getting it closed at $130. As I have been saying, until earnings, I don't think anything can stop it. If anything, anyone is going to come in front of it, they're just going to get run over by this bullet train, guys. NVIDIA is just climbing up and up and up and up, vertical to the moon. This thing is, as I said, unstoppable. So let's take a look at the price action in this video, as usual, and let's identify, well, what to do with this thing, how to trade, levels to watch, and all of that. Now very important thing and i have been showing you this new tool that is coming out soon for the elite members links to my tools are in the description below but you can see that once we got about 106 we have been just in the bullish structure the very thing i have been talking about and this tool automatically visually gives you the structure of where things are in an uptrend or in the downtrend all in all as a structure across multiple time frames it's in the it's just getting polished right now and soon elite members will have access to it and if you need access to my this tool and other tools links are in the description below of this video alrighty so now what else we have what higher highs higher lows no stopping this thing above 20 50 days moving average all good structure is still bullish I mean any pullback at this point guys to $127 is just gonna keep Nvidia bullish even any pullback to 122 is not going to change the structure to the downside this thing has so much of op so many opportunities even if any pullback comes to just get bought back up now if pullback starts to happen let's take a look at hourly interval what are those levels to watch for any potential pullback and if pullback happens what you what areas you are watching for potential support right so where NVIDIA is right now, if any pullback happens until 127 and 5 cents, it's still just a pullback, 20 hours moving average, just an underneath support, and that pullback can be just bought back up on NVIDIA. The structure is not bearish. Even intraday structure will not become weak as long as we are above 127 and 5 cents, okay? The next target, it has opened up the doors to $136. Guys, I mean, uh, you know, I don't even know anything if I so how I like to see the price action is I like to be cautious and I like to see okay what are how I can attack a stock from different directions to find a pattern that can tell me that we need to be careful or things may reverse right like I like to be cautious and right now in Nvidia I'm just not seeing yes pullback can come but the change of the structure to downside even on like intraday or longer term is just very hard to find right now for me and even as intraday cool off comes as long as we stay above even 127 that's just even this is on five minutes interval that's just going to be just a pullback there's a high likelihood that we might see a structure hold here and even if weakness we can trade up weakness with more con confidence it's not going to happen just a day after from now like it has to we have to see weakness in a particular day and then the price action confirming that weakness by the end of the day and then the next day there may be some intraday even short to be traded like there's just no sign right even so this indicator of mine like you can also see the cloud the news tool that is coming out soon you can see such a good support being held over here right just above the cloud by my indicator or well by the price action and right now I have it in the attentive mode. I mean, all these things will be introduced in the video, introductory video when the members receive access to it. And But if I change it to flow setting, uh, it also helps in just, it removes, you know, the, the it doesn't then articulate as pullbacks or rebounds, but you can see that helps in identifying just the flow. And you can see that the flow has been just so bullish today, even through the red candles or whatnot, which you can see if I turn it to the original candles here in the options, you can see there has been red stop, but that didn't change the structure. So all these features helps you in identifying of this tool that what is the structure telling us, right? So anyways, all in all, guys, I mean, NVIDIA is still, you know, uh, bullish. And as I said, 
it's it's very strong even pullback comes it has highly likelihood of just getting bought back up i think until earnings the price session will still remain strong nvidia is very easy to trade right now and this is where i really don't have to spend a lot of time explaining anything because structure is just bullish so just watch the pullbacks tomorrow if we get those and i provided you the level overall structure for this to become bearish i don't think it's going to happen until earnings if it will start happening i'll talk about it but for that I need to see some strong sell-offs for a couple of days intraday weakness and which right now likelihood of that happening is first a pullback has to fail at level of 127 but the, the other thing being we have 50 days moving ever sitting here we have 122 coming up uh, yeah it's just and then 118 another good support level sitting due to these uh you know previous distribution zone pivots which are now forming a good support for it right so one more thing I want to show you is, and I talked about it over the weekend as well, that is the short volume percent. Now, I told you over the weekend that, guys, these short sellers coming in at high percent again here at 28%, they're making a huge mistake. The price structure is not supporting any short uh, play over here. They made a mistake at coming doubling down at 29% here as well. I talked about it. And now I'm ta talk to you guys. They're making another a huge mistake by shorting it here. And you can see today they are being squeezed out again. Now I'll see in the evening the data will come after the post market has closed over here uh, for today's short volume data. If you have my tool, you can already plug and play and see what that is. If they come came in today as well high short volume, the squeeze is just going to continue because price action is not supporting the short sellers to be sitting in here and. Today, all this 28% that came, well, they, they, that's another, you know, the squeeze that is, uh, you know, pushing it up because short sales are covering. And what do you think this data, you know, all these big hedge funds, they have all these data as how much short volume percent is coming at what areas. And they are also willingly squeezing them out by putting buying order because they know once they put a lot of uh, pain to short sellers, it's going to help in squeezing up the price, right? so that's that all right also i as i'm talking about nvidia i have nvidia in my um dividend investing portfolio and i would highly suggest that you check this you know check this uh, channel out of mine uh, that is my channel here junior trader dividend investing channel you will find the link to this channel in the description of this video check out the videos here guys it tells you all about the portfolio that I'm public facing building dividend based Nvidia, Amazon, Tesla, energy ETFs and finance ETFs, all that stuff I have been buying here. I share the progress of this public facing portfolio here with all the positions, the, uh, the poor profits or whatever, right? Dividends, everything is here. Check it out. All right. So that's Nvidia. Uh, spend enough time here, but this is worth it. And this is just so bullish, right? Taking a look at AMD now. So we got to our target of underneath of 200 days moving average amd looks strong we have a climb up today on a very strong green volume on amd so things are not looking bad things are looking good on amd as well and we are bullish right now if any pullback comes tomorrow 150 dollars is just a good support and the next move if we got get above 200 days moving average it's just going to continue higher we are in a upward structure higher highs higher lows you can also use my you know again indicator here you can see the cloud once the structure started to change uh, we have the good confirmation of the cloud also giving it that support anyways right um so that's that things are still bullish on amd higher highs higher lows sitting here as well and uh yeah for tomorrow even an intraday level 153 and 48 cents above we are just bullish below that if we lose 20 hours moving ever some cool off may come but that will just be a cool off nothing more than that 151 is just still a good structural support sitting i yeah amd is still strong one day red candle will not change the structure on this very strong very bullish still i'm happy all right smci SMCI today a little bit try to do a pullback just at that blue box I provided you this is an area you are closely watching like a hawk all right this was the move $547 back up to this blue box we got that now from here on 
sure i want to see it above the blue box getting out of these pivots and getting out above this 200 days moving average for the next potential strong big move to the upside is what i want to be focusing on right do we have a price action support in that direction or are we going to continue to get weaker here so it all comes down to the levels so let's go to the hourly interval and let's talk through that so what i would say is what i want to see Tomorrow, if it continues to stay above 50 hours moving average, you don't have to think twice. This thing can just continue higher. If it has to go lower, then I need to see it lose $614. And then I would say much more downside is again possible. But otherwise, right now, if things are still looking good, strong on this, this is a good green candle close. And as we get above 20 days moving average, can give it another bump to the upside. But this is the, this is the area you are watching closely, all right? arm so arm is above 20 days moving average finally doing its thing by finding a support there above this blue box it's an upside we talked about if 20 days moving average is going to give it a pullback looks like pullback is getting bought back up and it's looking strong right now arm can continue to 145 looks like so nvidia's you know on this momentum is giving momentum to everything and for arm tomorrow as long as we stay above this level of 130 and 81 cents with 20 and 50 hours moving average there is nothing to worry about in my opinion for the bulls broadcom let's go to the daily interval first and broadcom pullback is just getting bought back up i gave you this level you right 161 or 50 days moving average any pullback is just a pullback there structure is still bullish you can see we are getting bought back up it's still bullish and i don't even have to spend time much more time talking about it we are still bullish micron so micron is also going bullish and again no stopping this thing right now this was this was the first area for the play the next area was above 200 days moving average and you can see pullbacks are just getting bought back up structure on this is still up to the upside now all right so yes this is also doing its climb as long as it stays above 200 days moving average in other words below that could be your stop loss if you're playing a bullish position on this for the long term and yeah but anyways you have to take partial profits based on your risk tolerance whatever you do and also stop losses based on your risk tolerance right that's all it's all about Okie dokie. Well, guys, so that's it for this video. And if you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. Tesla and Tech Stocks with Spy and QQ I already talked about on my channel. Check those videos out if you're interested on my channel. And with that, I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.